Here we go, YouTube. Ah, oh, all right. A little out of breath. I finished the workout. Surprisingly, I didn't get all my squat sets. 315, I, I'll show you one, I have one. And you can tell on that last rep, I get stuck and then I barely get through it, sorry. So I think I got the next set, but the last two sets, I only got four reps. And that's why I have the bars on the side there so it can catch it when I go down. Safety first, guys. Uh, don't mind my hair. Let's see, bench. Oh yeah, bench, I got all five sets of five with 190. I was super pumped, I'm out of breath, but I was gonna do a video right afterwards when I was all ecstatic and jumping up and down, but it's been a long time coming. Uh, I think I've been working on 190, three, four, five, days that I lifted it so that's probably like two or three weeks so I got it and that could be because I showed you in the video I changed my stance pulled my shoulder blades black back uh, and arched my back a little bit it was really hurting my shoulder I think because I was going down to where a flat I don't know if you can see that I was flat like using more of my shoulders oh got my face so anyway, it hurt my shoulder right here, the rotator cuff, I guess, I don't know. But when I did it differently than today, I still felt it, but it didn't hurt. It was just like a, I don't know, it was like sore, but it was good, it was better. So I think that's the way I'm gonna do it. Uh, and then I did a uh, barbell row and curl, but they were both, I got it was 135 with barbell row. So that was exciting. It was exciting because squat was 345 on either side. Row was 145 on either side. So, to me at least, I guess ever since I started lifting, when you get to that next weight where you get the out of plate, you don't have to do the 35, the 10, the five, two and a half, whatever. It's just cool, it's fun. So yeah, good lift, failed, but I also got some stuff. So you gotta take the good with the bad, exciting. Um, I'm gonna go in, oh yeah. I also started doing more protein. Uh, I just did, I maybe would do like one protein shake like in the morning after my lift. And think the rest through chicken and stuff like that, milk throughout the day. But I started doing protein shakes throughout the day, trying to get at least one gram of protein per body pound. Uh, and it seems to be helping. I think this is like my fourth day, third or fourth day that I've been doing this. So it seems to be helping a little bit at least. Uh, it helps my muscles grow. So, helps them to recover and heal themselves after I rip them via lifting. So, yeah, it was good. I also been watching videos about, I forget the guy's name, I'll leave it in the comments. Uh, he does a setup tutorial on squat and I've been noticing that I did change in my squat position today, maybe that's why I failed, but the squat position I use today felt really good on my hips. It was wider, but it wasn't as wide as I used to go where my hip hurt. So, and I really pulled my shoulder blades back and I almost tried not to hold the bar. Like, just let the bar rest on my hands, but really hold it with my back is what I felt. So it worked good, but obviously I didn't get it. So. Maybe that put more emphasis on my legs and is going to help me build my legs. I don't know for sure. Why did I get so close to my face? So yeah, that's that. I'm gonna go protein up. I'm pretty pumped about it. It was a good lift. Yeah, I failed, but I also, I don't know, I'm just excited about moving forward with this whole thing. So y'all have a great day. And remember, it can be done.